Have a minute's applause for Ken Myers, sadly passed away in June, a lifelong Barnet fan. And it is Hartlepool who get his underway and it's the first throw of the game. Second opportunity to whip it in. It's a lovely ball in. The number eight, Anti Mancini, was wide open for Hartlepool. Manages to clear it. It was under no pressure, but the high ball causing one or two issues just on the left of the box. Now Hartlepool managed to get it away. It was Chris Reardon, number 11, found in space. Here's Danny Dodds, the number two. He's got a little space. A couple of players overlapping as well. It's going to be a race. It's Josh Maria there trying to go for it. He's up against uh, Jerome Akimo. Now the ball comes in, here's Charlie Seaman on his left foot, decides to have a go, but it's a wild lash in it. It's missing well left, goes out for a Barnet goal kick. A few days ago, the number eight for Hartlepool, one to watch. Right, here we go. Again, Gorman is going to take it. Little chip over, it's the foot, it's a Pritchard with it. Oh, it's a bit of a scramble, and it goes in. I'm not too sure it's got the last touch, and they're looking at the linesman, but it is Barnet who take the lead. It was very, very scrappy. It was incredible play by Harry Pritchard, who just caught the Hartlepool defence off guard, who got the initial touch, poked it forward. Here is Mancini. That's Anthony, not Roberto. Edon Pruti, at number 15. And it's, oh, what a save that is. Can he follow it up? No. Oh, and Harleypool looking dangerous. Almost from nowhere. They were lurking well, at the end. He's in there, the goal scorer. Harry Pritchard is in there. Carnu is in there. Collins is in there. Akimo's in there, decides to go for goal. Always going over the bar. Almost a little bit of a waste. Well cut out by Johnson. And now Kabamba, who's got space, he's got time. Is he going to load up and have a go? He does. Oh, a just wonderful save there by Joel Dixon, who just managed to get out. He's right in the heart of it, as is Josh Emery. Walker comes out, manages to just palm it down and get it back into his hands safely, but could have spelt a little bit of danger. Zach Brunt is prowling. The ball's whipped in again. The keeper can't get a hold onto it. It was heading towards goal almost. Here's Coker, back to Brunt. On his right foot, whips it in again. It's the high head, it almost goes in. Oh, it looked like he was clipped away. And it's been given. It's been given. Wow, it did go over the line. The header, absolutely magnificent there. And shouts a shoot for Zach Brunt. He does load up. He does have a go. It's a by Nicky Kabamba, which nobody had realised had gone over the line until about 30 seconds after when the referee blew up. Here's Coker. Out to Pritchard. Drops the ball in nicely. Now it's Danny Collins with it. And it's three. Oh, my word. Lovely ball in by Pritchard. Bodies galore, but there was Danny College. He just got something on it, anything. Maybe even his midriff. But it beat Dixon and it goes in and it's barred. It's three, Harley Paul nil. Get his second now. It's played quick. Josh Umer is there and Josh Umer wins it. But great defended by Reese Hall Johnson. But here's the number seven. This time, surely it is. It's Jake Hasty with the goal. Something of a consolation, surely, for Harley Paul, but at least they can go home with something. The finest of games for Hartlepool, but it's like he's going to see it out. As I said, he comes, uh, he's got lots of good credentials. Played for Albania under 18, under 19 level. Here is Mancini. Again, diving, darting into the box. Try to find Cook. Finds Hasty, it's a penalty. And it's that man again. Minutes of the game left to go. Up against Walker, and it's saved! It's saved! What a save! They've still got it though, Crawford has it! Here's Josh Amru with it, who scores! Well, what about that for a turn of events? Brutti back to the keeper, Dixon. 
One last lunge forward. Referee takes a look at his watch. Doesn't blow yet. We're still in play. Sam Barrett wins it, gets it to Cardu. And the referee blows and Barnett managed to hold on for the three points here. Oh, what a game we have seen.